Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm gonna show you how I cook chicken hearts. This is one of my favorite, really easy, nutrient-dense recipes. I love chicken hearts when it comes to organ meats because they're very mild and delicious. I have never come across anybody who doesn't enjoy them. So let's jump in and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make them. First thing that I'm going to do is put a nice big generous chunk of butter into my cast iron skillet. I have it heating over about medium-high heat for right now and then I'm gonna reduce that a little bit later on. While the butter is melting, I'm going to coarsely chop an onion and then add that on top of the butter. I wanna cook the onion a bit until it's starting to look clear, maybe almost starting to look a little bit brown, but I don't want it too brown, just maybe starting to brown and also nice and clear. Next, I'm going to add my chicken hearts and then I'm going to top those with some salt and pepper. The amount of butter that I'm using for this, it can really vary. I like lots of butter, so I usually do about half a stick worth. And then I just add the salt and pepper to taste, stick the hearts on top of the onion, add the salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna add a splash of organic dry white wine. Then I'm gonna cover it with a lid and let it simmer on medium to medium low heat, depending on what your stove does. You want just a little bit of a bubble. You don't want it cooking too hard, so medium or medium low is good. And then I'm just gonna let them simmer like that for about half an hour. After half an hour is up, if you uncover it and there's still quite a bit of liquid, then you can let them cook a little bit more with the lid off. You can turn the heat up to medium or medium high depending on what you had it on before and just kind of stir them around a little bit and then once that liquid has evaporated they are ready to serve and enjoy. This is actually a mixture of chicken hearts and chicken spleens that I'm doing today. You can do this with just chicken hearts, chicken hearts and spleens, you can do it with gizzards, a combination of any of those or just either any of them on their own. Okay I hope that you enjoyed seeing one of my favorite ways that's really quick and easy and so delicious delicious to make chicken hearts or spleens or gizzards or a combination of any of those. I hope that you give this recipe a try and I hope that you enjoy it. Check out that description box for links to where I like to buy a lot of my cooking ingredients as well as links to free ebooks and other goodies. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.